Well, good evening. Welcome back to 3 News. Hope you had a wonderful start to the weekend and also the first day of summer. The summer solstice is on our hands in the northern hemisphere. Here in South Texas, it felt like summer temperatures were plenty hot, plenty humid. Very typical for this time of year. No surprise there. And we had sunrise early this morning around 630 and sunset is later on this evening around 830. So all in all, the day will be about 14 hours long, a few minutes shy of that. But again, it's going to be a nice evening out there. And as we progress in the next couple months, we're going to slowly lose daylight. Now, since the winter solstice uh, set back in December 21st, we've gained about three and a half hours of daylight again since last six months or so. Now, tonight's forecast looks fantastic, very cloudy, but also very nice, humid as well. Temperatures in the mid 70s through about 10 o'clock or so. And then by overnight, we'll stay partly cloudy to mostly clear and humidity is going to ramp up in our forecast. And that's pretty much what we have to look forward to for the next seven days or so. A look at radar, not too busy, but you look out west over, let's say, the Big Bend area, the northern mountains of Mexico, a good amount of storms firing up off the mountains of Mexico and just near Del Rio, Valverde County and near the Rio Grande Plains. Now, these are not going to make it anywhere near us. Unfortunately, we're going to stay very dry and cloudy in our forecast and you can see on radar locally, just a few pop up showers near Kingsville Highway 77 and for the most part, just warm and partly cloudy at the moment. 88 here in the city. Same thing in Robstown, 91 in Beeville, 90 in Alice and at 92 over in Heaverville. That is the hot spot at this hour. And how does it feel? Well, it feels like 104 over in Beeville, 101 in Alice and upper 90s elsewhere you go and across the coastal bend. So the humidity is really up and we're feeling it. And unfortunately, through Tuesday, we're only going to we really ramp things up. And then by about Friday and Saturday, you know, not much changes in our extended forecast. We have a lot of humidity surging in from the Gulf of Mexico, and that keeps rain chances high. Isolated showers at best, nothing too widespread in coverage, but it's something to keep an eye on, especially on the radar as showers will start to develop in South Texas every late morning and early afternoon. All right, so the tropics very quickly, a very small chance at development along the east coast near the Carolinas. And this will start to push the north and east away from the United States, away from the coastal bend. So again, if it does become, become our next name system, it would become Dolly. But again, right now it is staying very disorganized at this hour. Now, zooming out, you can see no more name systems out there. Very, very minimal activity in regarding the tropics and all thanks to a lot of Saharan dust out there in the Caribbean, the Atlantic. And unfortunately, this is going to push in our direction in the next coming days. It looks like Tuesday the Saharan dust will make an appearance here in South Texas and that's definitely going to cause some problems. If you know you're sensitive to the dust in the air, this happens every summer. Please limit time outside again starting on Tuesday. All right, seven day forecast temperatures trend warmer into the low to mid 90s. Isolated showers, daily rain chances through Tuesday. Again, only spotty showers at best. Saharan dust comes into the forecast and it looks like it's going to be in the large concentrations for at least the next several days in the Friday and next weekend. All right, keep it here on three news. We'll be right back.